Hey Guardians, uh, how's it going? So, ages ago, I think it was before Shadowkeep, I made a, like, tier list. And I realized how long it has been since I made another tier list. So I decided, since I'm doing a lot of Destiny content recently, let's do another tier list. Now, as you can tell, already I've put some things in. That's from the last video. You don't have to watch that video if you don't want to. It's really long and it's really boring. <laughs> so, like, I wouldn't recommend it. But then again, why would I recommend this? I don't know. Unless you're gonna get triggered, then don't watch this. But yeah, no, like, a few symbols have changed. Uh, there's a few changes I wanna make. Well, obviously, first change I made was, like, call instead of SS, it's now just called the Taken King. Uh, D has been removed because, like, there was nothing in D. Okay, I was a bit harsh on Curse of Osiris last time, but with all this here that we have, I'm actually gonna move that up one. I know, people are not gonna like me for that, but I'm still gonna do it anyway, because, like, I don't think it deserved as much hate as it got. It's just, it, it released in a shit time period. Period, all right, that's all it really is to it. It was actually pretty like whopper when you look back on it no, Not not the best but still it, 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 see worthy. All right see worthy now um, Before I go into the actual destiny 2 stuff I need to go back to destiny 1 because I have where is it? So we have moment of triumph. I can't remember which is which Okay, so that was the most recent. Yeah, this is the old moment of triumph. And there we go, the April update. So I think, yeah, April update was first. So for now, we'll just put it there just to, as I talk about this. And yeah, I know it's, it's bad image, but shush, please leave me alone. I, I got these like all in the middle of class instead of listening. So so the April update, yeah, honestly, let's leave it at A actually. Like it's not forsaken levels good, but it was actually pretty good for what it was. Like it was a free update. It introduced the taken armor, the chroma armor, the taken will shotgun. And like, like at the time we got a free strike as well and not to mention like the the update itself was free that i think that was kind of just unheard of at the time because like at this time it was taking king to rise of iron and there was no expansions releasing and the game was like basically dead unless you count um seasonal content as the game not being dead but to be fair it isn't really in that sense but the more i think about it destiny one used to be so dead but you know that update was a good like breath fresh air it came with like a story mission as well which led to the elimination of um Malak, who is going to take, like, over the throne of the Hive, and so on and so forth, so... Yeah, honestly, I don't think I have any other opinion on that. I think I'm going to leave that there. When it comes to everything else here... Oh, yeah, sorry. Penumbra's another one that I put here at the end, but, um... Fuck it. We'll, we'll put it we'll put it in s because like penumbra is not on the same level of likeliness for me than these and I, I just i just really liked it you know like it's so cool having the menagerie and all that stuff you know it's just pretty cool time we got like the tribute hall like man and like the season got extended and whatnot Mad time. Right, so before we go again into Destiny 2, we have one last event. And I've only included, like, certain releases that I think are worthwhile. Because, again, with this one, they, re like, re-released all the raids and they put them up all to, um, the, uh, light level at the time. There was the Age of Triumph ornaments for the armor, which was so, so cool. I'm sorry, for another nostalgia boner kind of moment, like, I have to put that there. Either there or there. For now, I'll leave it here. Because, like, I think this was the first time as well I got an Age of Triumph shirt and well i need to make sure i buy it again this year because obviously it equals views on the channel but other than that like they just try and time was a good time like i I, I don't know. Maybe it's just, again, nostalgia just kicking in. I remember playing a lot during that time and waiting for, like, Destiny 2 to release, you know, and whatnot. And, yeah, if we run down the timeline now, we have Penumbra there. So, after Penumbra was Shadowkeep. So, honestly, looking back on Shadowkeep now, it was cool. But it wasn't it wasn't the best piece of content we could have gotten. And, like, to be fair as well, uh, Bungie did split from Activision at the time. And, yeah, honestly, like, of course, in comparison to now, to, like, Beyond Light, where we get like two locations a year or well supposedly and we only got one in this but even then like i'd still like the moon coming back because it was like they changed the whole area altogether, you know but the unfortunate thing that came from shadow keep was this thing season of the undying like to be fair it was free but bro was there nothing good in that like i'm trying to remember what even was the there's a seasonal season pass exotic wasn't there oh my okay i think it was ariana's vow like i, I don't know about you guys but I have not seen that gun in a long time. And plus, like, the activity was okay, but, like, when you play it for the second time, it just gets repetitive, you know? But then again, that's not to say everything else in all of these get repetitive and stuff. I don't know. I don't really have a massive nostalgia for this, but more for this. If this wasn't, if this was already in this, I'd probably, nah, actually, I'd keep that at B anyway. And yeah, honestly, there's not really else to say. Like, they added weapons and stuff, I guess, but, like, I don't know. 
I, I don't have much to comment on. So after that was Season of Dawn. Uh, again, this is, this. I know it's weird to say it's nostalgic, even though it was like a year ago. But that season, like, I think, like, in comparison to this, did so much better than this. Like, sure, again, the Sundial was a bit repetitive, but at least you had, like, the um, rotating areas, the rotating bosses weekly, and you also had the um, the uh, seasonal missions, which, like, like, they have to be, like, some of the best missions they introduced into the game full stop. Like, saving same 14 in the past and stuff was just phenomenal i don't know i just again i just have really good memories from this time the weapons were cool the shotgun paradox cool oh yeah the quarters of time as well to be fair that was a bit of disappointment but it was cool that they started to try and do stuff like that within this season you know and how they're like kind of building on it now like again the last time they tried to do this like with uh the dawning it didn't really work but i think hopefully bungie are learning more because like they have made that big uh twab recently and Ho hopefully they fix a lot of stuff and they hopefully fix a lot of other things not just in what they mentioned you know maybe there's stuff they uh, haven't mentioned right so next from there would be season of the worthy and i i'll put it here because i liked that um in season of the worthy you had like these actual like npcs that helped you out when you cleared a bunker and there was a reason for that oh another cool thing about that actually was that there's the pyramid ships coming in that was that was so cool people were like wait what are these like red dots on this map and it's like oh she the pyramids are coming bro and it's like after all that time oh this season also introduced the legendary lost sectors which i love now that they're actually just a permanent feature in the game and that you can just farm for an exotic if you want or for like certain pieces i've still yet to get all the chess pieces as of now but shush but um yeah and the end of season event was pretty good as well that's why that's staying on b like honestly when it comes to these three ranks like that's where i put this but i can't really decide so i'll just leave it on b yeah no that's really it I, I'm, the fort horseman coming back was kind of cool got the catalyst for that i just i loved the bug of that as well or not bug the you know there's a bug like when it was showing its health or not even showing its health like there'd be too much of his health being or the boss's health like going down at the one time that i had to regen itself like, that was gas. And Season of the Arrivals. Okay, I have to put that at least above that. Because Season of the Arrivals introduced the uh, three story missions that would rotate weekly. And then the final version of the mission, I think that would be counted as the fourth version of the mission with Nocris. I thought that was pretty cool. Like, tying him back into thing. Because technically, he was still living from that one Mars strike. And now, like, he's actually, like, permanently dead. Or, well probably dead we don't know what the hive at this point but you know with the ruinous effigy i think like a lot of people didn't like the public event but i i was all right with it because you could summon it like anytime you wanted it's just a problem when you don't have enough people to do it like but i'm glad again like with this season they have like a match made activity and at least the wraithborn hunts are easy enough to do by yourself but you know it was cool seeing the pyramids come in and whatnot and like like literally they changed the sky boxes just for like that season and then like how like it ties into story wise and how all this like it was just good all right it was good i'll leave it at that man uh so season arrivals the next one we'll talk about is beyond light uh i'll leave beyond light there honestly when it came to this i did something different this time instead of like following up to date with all the youtubers about like oh this is happening beyond light and this 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 i literally just i think it was like a week before it came out i cut all ties with destiny stuff i think i probably didn't scroll social medias like twitter and whatnot because i knew i'd be spoiled i well not unsubscribe from every youtuber but i like turned off all notifications for destiny youtubers and then like i gave myself time to get into it because I, I, at the time as well i was in college or starting college so i kind of wanted to concentrate on that at the same time but then i realized that like well covid hit and well now we're like all at home so it doesn't really matter anymore but yeah no it's this expansion is probably should be the new norm for the big expansions of course it'd be cool like i know people complain about crucible and then there's the poor people that complain about like gambit as well personally for me i think gambit should at least get a map every like half a year maybe a year and then when it comes to crucible we should be getting a map like every single like season like, I don't get why we're not. Or at least a reintroduction of an old map every season, you know? Because they remove so many maps for whatever reason. And, like, they could just reintroduce them. Like, all the, like, maps now are just simulations of what they used to be. Like, if they're not on the planet they used to be from, that's not in the game anymore, you know? Um. Oh, yeah, another thing that's cool with Beyond Light is uh, the darkness was introduced. Or, not the darkness, but stasis. Again, I know a lot of people have a bit of quabbles. I guess. I, I don't know why I use that word. But, like, yeah, people don't like stasis in Crucible and whatnot. But, man, stasis can be so much fun in PvE. I will admit, though, it's a bit of a shame they didn't add proper, like, stasis shielded enemy. Well, they did actually stasis 
enemies, but they didn't add like stasis um other stasis weapons. Like they only have the one weapon right now, and like in season fifteen they're gonna add the rest. Uh on top of that though, the fallen were okay. They're they're okay, they're pretty cool. It's cool that they get to use the powers we're using as well. Aramis was okay as a boss as well as an enemy. Um I like the reintroduction of Barracks. I like how oh the Deep Stone Crypt. How can we not talk about the Deep Stone Crypt? That raid is amazing man like oh just aesthetic wise and whatnot like i've done that raid like eight times now and like i'm recording this on a tuesday so i'm gonna do it at least another three more times to try and get eyes of tomorrow i'm gonna use that once and then never use it again you know honestly out of all the subclasses i think the titans one's my favorite i know it's literally like fist of havoc but stasis but it's still so much fun to fly through the air like i actually love flying with that titan like i'll just i press um to charge in then i'll do the other button to like do the slam like and like the camera goes all weird as well when you do it that's why i love doing that so much but anyway enough fanboying about stasis uh or about beyond light okay the only reason that's staying here is because of the amount of weapon like all your old arsenal all the old content was all sunset like if this just released by itself without all the bad stuff in the back and then maybe if it had a few good pvp maps or pvp pvpve maps for gambit then it would go here but it's going here actually now that i, I forgot completely wait so this thing is the moments of triumph 2020 this was when before beyond light when they remade all the raids and stuff and you know there's like a lot of triumph stuff i got all that stuff done it's pretty epic bro and they actually allowed people who were playing Spire Stars to just get the emote when you complete it. Like, that was kind of off, but honestly, as a person who didn't have it, I didn't really mind. And plus, the more people that get to enjoy themselves, the better, you know? Yeah, no, that was a good time. You get to replay a lot of stuff. So, I'll leave it here because I don't think that deserves to be on the same level as this. Um, yeah, actually, that, that is really it. So, if you're looking at this, this is 2017. This is 2020. Original Destiny. I forgot to mention some of these things that's penumbra uh that's obviously war mine and april update season of drifter season of worthy rise of iron and of course season of the undying now for the season that released underneath beyond light i'll put it here because it doesn't deserve to be I, mm, I don't know uh we'll leave it here for now but when it came to season um of the hunt i'm happy that in that season they actually like reintroduced um aldrin as the crow because like he is literally like one of my favorite characters now and it's probably because bungie's brainwashed me into thinking he's a good Care. well he is a good character but like i don't know even in this season like look at his new drip bro like he really do be dripping like the wraithborn hunts was kind of cool at first and i still kind of do them now i love going into a wraithborn hunt with the new titan chest piece that allows you to like one hit enemies with thunder crash like i do that on the titan just so i can speed through them in like 15 minutes like for all five runs for a pinnacle it is it a pinnacle i don't even know please let me know actually because like it says like legacy gear or something like that but i think it shows up as a pinnacle so yeah anyway sorry uh try to think yeah no it goes here because the hawk moon quest as well was introduced and i thought that was pretty cool and yeah no that stays there now right season of the worthy now or sorry worthy season of the chosen <laughs> um i might have to leave that on b uh like midpoint i say midpoint well yeah technically because s a b c f is the only place i can put this i can't really put that there you know with the taken king yeah no actually that deserves to be there because like battlegrounds is cool it's match made we're getting a new strike we got two new strike well two reprise strikes devil's lair is now my favorite we got the fallen saber which is okay i i don't have much i don't know why i played it i was, wasn't really too enthused to play it but it was still pretty cool what else did they introduce i'm not really sure oh yeah the umbral system the helm the hammer thing uh like there's so much there's so much in that that's good and like it's not even finished yet so honestly if i were to do another tier list before the witch queen like that could move another place up you know or it could move down depending on what happens next but right now yeah i, I think that's <laughs> so some could say you think it's worthy of its spot right i'm sorry and this uh i literally just got an image from vault of glass because i wanted to um show that this is like the next season because we don't have any art or anything yet for it i'll, I'll put it here at least because like just the vault of glass coming back by itself is enough to make that season worthy of being like in the a tier in my opinion and, like i know we don't know much i don't even like we don't even know what armor sets are coming back for fog and we don't know what weapons are coming back hopefully if bungie are smart enough they'll bring back everything that's needed even the age of triumph sets because like they were really cool like i loved <laughs> using the wi-fi titan chess piece like on my titan now i have like the vex piece and it has like wings sticking out but yeah and uh, that's gonna do it then for 
for this tiered list. Uh, what do you guys think with my Taken King S, A, B, C, and F tiered content? Obviously, like you guys are like, holy shit, why did you put that there and this here and that there? Okay, honestly, hold on. Let, let, just give me another second. There we go. Okay, I think I've done it now. Yeah, that's it. Okay, right. So thank you, Guardian, so much for watching this video. If you liked it, obviously like it. Dislike if you didn't like it. Comment if you want. Subscribe if you want. And hit the bell if you do so desire. And I'll see you, Guardians, again in another video.